Good morning. It's Friday, May 17th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Sovereign Means Sovereign, and our scripture is Daniel chapter 7, and then Revelation chapter 11. As my vision continued that night, I saw someone like a son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. He approached the Ancient One and was led into His presence. He was given authority, honor, and sovereignty over all the nations of the world, so that people of every race and nation and language would obey Him. His rule is eternal. It will never end. His kingdom will never be destroyed. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices shouting in heaven, The world has now become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. Some things are just common sense, like dying. Human experience tells us that death is the culmination of all the breaths we've taken. Eventually, we all come to the final one. The other part of the dynamic duo of death and taxes has little to do with common sense. However, you can be certain you'll get the tax bill. Some other things aren't immediately evident. They must be taken by faith. Just because yesterday you weren't clobbered on the road to work does not mean that you have an automatic pass today. And just because that chair at the dinner table held you up for breakfast, you do not have a guarantee that triple whopper with cheese you ate for lunch won't be a chair breaker this evening. Common sense, everyday stuff, faith, also common, but requiring a leap. Of faith is the idea of sovereignty. The word means independent, a self-governing entity. That, in the elementary understanding we have of God, is true. Eternal Yahweh is a part, other. He's unreachable to those who would exert power over him. God is sovereign, and there's no greater power or love or judgment. Sovereign is sovereign. Both Old Testament prophet Daniel and New Testament apostle John point to the sovereignty of God and his eternal rule of the universe. This is, of course, the next great event for which all humanity and the creation groans and waits. Since the fall in the Garden of Eden, humanity awaited the arrival of Messiah. The cross wasn't what they expected. But God's plan, like God himself, is not subject to the creation's expectations. Sovereign is sovereign, unrestrained, unexplainable, undeniable, and unfathomable. From the cross, we again occupy the waiting seat, perhaps eagerly wondering, but unquestionably looking for the coming again of Messiah. The difference between Old Testament waiting and our lot is a promise from the sovereign of all sovereigns that the next coming will not be meek and lowly, hay and stubble cradle with only the smelly barnyard for a palace. The next coming will be in power and majesty to set everything right, which has been so wrong. This coming in the clouds will be with honor and authority and a final crowning of sovereignty in which sin will be no more, and all creation will be under that authority. For you today, sovereignty is sovereignty. God is over all. But his sovereign rule is not to be despised. It's only that sovereignty which sets us free to love. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.